What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Detroit Lions video. Now we did get a little bit of Lions news today as Taylor Decker, the starting left tackle for the Detroit Lions, has officially signed an extension keeping him in Detroit for the next six years. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, a quick update video. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now, today, Taylor Decker did officially sign a contract extension, and the contract was a six-year, $85 million contract, with $37 million of that being guaranteed money. Now, if you compare that to other left tackles in the NFL, as far as total value of the contract, and this is all according to over the cap, you know, as far as the total value of the contract, Taylor Decker is now the second highest paid left tackle in football, and according to how much money he makes per season, he ranks at eighth as he makes $14.1 million a season. Now, you know, depending on your opinion on Taylor Decker, whether you like him or not, you're going to like or not like this contract. Personally, I don't think this was a horrible contract. You know, $14.1 million a year, that's a little expensive for Taylor Decker. I don't think he's quite a top 10 tackle, but I would definitely put him in that 12 to 15 range. And, you know, we had to pay him this because if we didn't pay him, you know, if we did not pay him this money, somebody else was going to. Taylor Decker, whether you like him or not, you have to admit, is at least an average tackle. I think he's above average. I think he is pretty good, pretty solid for the Detroit Lions. Struggles sometimes and hasn't really been the same since his injury. However, he has been playing very well recently. I think Taylor Decker is a pretty solid left tackle and I do not necessarily mind paying him this money if he can get back to that rookie form. If he can continue the play that he is currently having in training camp, I do not mind paying this contract and I actually think it was a fairly solid contract because, you know, as much as people say, oh, he's just average left tackle, average left tackles are not the easiest thing to come across. You know, a lot of teams would be begging for Taylor Decker, right? Right now, you know, the Chicago Bears would be begging to to take Taylor Decker. The Jacksonville Jaguars, the Washington Redskins, the Cincinnati Bengals, they, they would all be begging to take they would all be begging to take Taylor Decker right now. So Taylor Decker is by no means a bad tackle and if we did not pay him this money, somebody else was going to. So I don't necessarily mind the contract and I actually think he's a very good player. Now Taylor Decker throughout his career with the Detroit Lions has played in 55 games for the Lions. He's played in 3,586 snaps, allowed 31 penalties and allowed 17 sacks. So that averages out to him allowing about one sack every 211 snaps and about one penalty every 116 snaps. And that is after a very lackluster performance last season where he, you know, really had a down year last year, which kind of inflates the sag and penalty numbers. He, he is a very solid left tackle. Like, I, I don't know why people don't like Taylor Decker. I know he struggles sometimes, but throughout his career, he's been very solid for the Detroit Lions. He's protected Matthew Stafford and has been one of the most reliable players on that offensive line since Bob Quinn has been here. So I, you know, I've said this a couple times now. I do not mind the contract. I don't think it's that bad. You know, did we overpay a little bit? Maybe, but as I said, if we didn't pay it, somebody else was going to. So, you know, that is the breaking news. The only question that I am left with right now is do the Detroit Lions currently have enough money to sign Kenny Galladay? But, you know, of course, I don't think they would sign this big deal for Taylor Decker if they didn't believe they could get Kenny Galladay. I, and I have a feeling that they already have a contract worked out with Kenny Galladay. They're just finalizing it right now. And I don't think they would have given I don't think they would have given Taylor Decker this money if they did not have a plan for Kenny Galladay in the 2020. All right. I don't think they would give Kenny I don't think they would give Taylor Decker this amount of money if they did not have confidence and they did not have a plan for, you know, re-signing Kenny Galladay and also bringing him back to be the number one wide receiver for the Detroit Lions. Now, if you want to hear more opinions on this, if you want to hear maybe me expand my opinion a little bit and some other Detroit Lions YouTubers expand and you know, share their opinions on the contract, go over and check out the DSA Roundtable tonight on either the DSA channel or, you know, somebody, one of the members of the DSA is hosting. I'm not sure who it is tonight, but I will leave a link to it down in the description. So if you want more opinions on this and more Detroit Lions talk, go over there tonight and check it out at 8 p.m. But with all that being said, that is all I got for you guys today. That was the Lions that came out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about this contract? Do you think we overpaid for Taylor Decker? Do you think it was a fair contract? Or do you maybe even think we ought to bargain for him? Let me know that down in the comments below. But with all that being said, said that's all i got for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed the video had an absolutely fantastic rest of your day if you're new to the channel and are enjoying the content consider taking those two seconds it does take out of your day to like the videos and subscribe to the channel as it takes only two seconds out of your day and it would make mine i'd be very very appreciative but with that being said that's all i got for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed the video and have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day i will see all of you tomorrow with more detroit lions content if there is no more lions news today bye guys